Hello everyone, how are you? This is Khaled Ismail from Softgram. One of our friends on YouTube channel asked me to make fancy and pretty effective automated dashboard. So today I'm going to show you how to make a good dashboard. This dashboard can summarize your data or any statistic or any performance as your business show. As you see here, this dashboard example for HSC uh, monthly dashboard or safety dashboard showing all record in monthly basis. For example, starting by date, automated, total manpower, total man hour, and some uh, actions or unsafe actions or conditions with each statistics like a positive or negative also safety observations which capture during the work at the workplace also training hours and injuries records like uh, frequency of lost time and severity what i want to tell you you can do like this dashboard as per your uh, request, uh, like uh, profits uh, or like uh, business. Second thing, in this video tutorial, we learn two things. First, how to make the backend data of this dashboard on Excel sheets. Okay. I already prepared this data on Excel sheet, which we can use it for Power One. And second, we will make we learn how to uh, design and make the skeleton of this dashboard let's start and see how can we uh, link it between excel and uh, dashboard uh, on powerpoint this link shall be uh, automatically but uh, in this case we will making a linking uh, manually because automatic uh, update of the data needs uh, uh, visual basic codes and this would be uh, next on other video tutorial let's start for first thing how to make it the back end, back end uh, on excel sheet and let's see the, this excel sheet which we already prepared uh, our prepared as you see here we'll start uh, the back end of the uh, data on excel sheet as you see here i already uh, divided this excel sheet i prepared the data previously uh, we'll do our uh, charts or our dashboard on certain information like dates and manpower as you see manpower here i suggest or i uh, recommended three companies you can more, make more of the three company a b or c and then you found total of these manpower as uh, uh, submissions also man hours for each company you have to insert it here and it give you the total of man hours <coughs> leading indicators and lagging indicators these are performance um, indicators but this will not be included in our dashboard it shall be included on another page of dashboard but this uh, idea you can be inserted uh, to increase your dashboard also here we uh, inserted the unsafe condition or unsafe acts. Uh, it's divided to positive and the negative. And here we have a summarize for each uh, uh, items. Total uh, of these acts also be uh, used in our dashboard. And this breakdown for this uh, observations yeah, like work permit, traffic, PPE, and false. And each item has each records and they finally have a total. This for injured, this for injuries, uh, injuries uh, records like uh, each year as a performance, uh, it with 2017 till 2020, and severity it is uh, records also related to the injuries, and it is uh, can be inserted also in the chart. And the last one is training our records and the old topics be used in the training like working at heights working permit lifting excavation this uh, example for using this data but uh, you can insert what you need let's start first by first item with date 
Here, this is the date, as we said, it functions equal to day, give you the uh, current date. If you want current date, you can say it's function equal to day and between brackets. This is a function of the Excel. Second thing, you have to choose the forms of this date. What type of form you need, this is up to you. So, when we go to the form, and we will find here, we will use this better form, but you can use it like this form or this uh, up to you. We, I prefer to use this uh, date form, then I said OK. This is the next step to come across here, which is a trick which should be used or built on the dashboard. What is this trick? Here we can make the date like a chart. We making insert normal chart. For example, we can take it column. We can take uh, normal column chart here, and we remove everything from it just only the data. Yeah, we remove this. We can take this item, make it delete. Also, making format chart area. Filling no fill, also lines or borders no lines for border. Also, we call here no fill, no line. The data of this chart can say add data label. This is what we need date. So, also, we make no fill to the columns and no line. Now, as you see here, the date is single, and this date can automatically update once we change our every day, uh, once we change the date. Just we resize the date, and we can make it larger here, increase its size, and make it more, more, for example, 40. Precise, precise. This is the main idea of this dashboard, which it use the your data and later chart. This is the first thing we did it for uh, the date. We have a chart. We have the chart of the the date. Second thing, we have to select our uh, statistics. Manbar. So we will insert another uh, type of a chart and insert here. For example, we take this times columns or uh, yes, take columns. Company A, Company B, Company C. We can up to you leave the axis. Just remove chart title and remove line. <clears throat> delete and background no fill here no fill remove this here only show data table add data labels on the slide and border no lines fee for the part this second one more thing to add it here in this chart add it here the total if I need the total uh, to be uh, mentioned on the dashboard and we do the same as we did in the date so I'll make it now and you have I have to increase the speed of the video to save your time relax and watch what we are doing Okay, so now we here we have uh, manpower already. Our data we used first chart and the total manpower. We'll insert it here, put it here too. 
we the same issues will go to man hours but with different type of chart we show for example we can I can take it uh, man hours insert okay No fill. I can remove this axis. Show data. Add data label. Also, not take no line. No fill. No quarter. And I have to resize. Okay. And I have to insert it here to be used later for our dashboard. Also, the same total we can take this like uh, control D or copy also here chart design select data we can use data for total of man hours and receive times and so on and no fill show add data label and to increase its size like this to be shown in here. Now we have our data already listed. Uh, we'll leave leading indicators and lag indicator as I mentioned before we'll come to uh, unsafe act and conditions here we can use it by chart uh, for percentage and also here we can use another uh, chart so uh, for here unsafe act or unsafe conditions or any percentages uh, indicator you can use insert our pie chart. In this trick, you have to see or we'll do something better. Sorry, we can select chart, uh, select data. The beginning, we we'll take this to data. Okay, enter. This is our pie chart. This pie chart is divided to two sections. I'll making duplication for it. You know later why I make it because to avoid repeat. At the first one, I use the positive, and second one, I use the negative. So uh, here we use positive. First, we can remove every data. Come for the negative part. We can go to fill option, our series option. Also filling, with no fill. Sorry, no fill. And also the line no line. Here also can say no line, and the color will be changing what we needed in the dashboard. Also, this first one for positive, remove <coughs> the chart here no line, no fill, and we resize it to be like this. This for positive, also. The records of positive will do as we did uh, before. You can this take this control D, control D here, and we select its data, share design, select the data source or data here. For positive unsafe acts first. Positive. Positive. Here. Unsafe act. Enter. Okay. Show data label or add data label. 
here no fill and here we can resize it's now clear we put here in the middle so once I change this data the chart will change and the data chart you know, for example if we make it here 200 data change it and the charge also a uh, change it and also the total change that's what we uh, it's our goals we come here for the second part will be the same do the same so i repeat the video just to sit back and watch what we do we're making this for negative part Here we back again, as you see here, we put positive and negative, put it in the middle, increase its size little bit, and so on. Okay, so this section already done, just only the total will do as we make it here, control D. Total number change change data format change select data use total and save act and save conditions just remove no fill add data label <coughs> and so on. Okay, next part of this observation is that we can use uh, column charts uh, for the uh, actions. We will use all insert chart, okay. our chart, two bars. This up to you. Yeah, you can select or change any the chart design uh, up to you as you need. This your dashboard and can do whatever. Just I'm here for uh, showing you or just to give you example. And you can change this parameter also in your. This is what you need. We want you to change here. Show data add data tables. <coughs> All you can remove these parts here. Also, we'll take the title, control D, chart type, of chart design, select data, I'll speed up the video for the next, uh, next two chart to uh, avoid uh, repeating or to avoid pouring and just you relax and watch what we do and be ready to go to the next step
Here we coming to the last step for the uh, Excel uh, preparation account, which training hours. Insert, take uh, this type, okay, the chart, remove training background, no fill. Also here no fill, no fill, no line. No line and insert the data. Insert the shared data label. Okay. This was uh, the first part of the video. Last thing we can total also training hours. Control D, duplication. Instead here, just we change the source of data, uh, select data, okay, from here, okay, add data label, no fill, no line. Now, our uh, back in the Excel sheet is uh, our data is ready. Next step, our next second thing of this video, we will learn how to make the dashboard which already updated to this backend. Let's go and see how to design this or how can use could link it between these two ports between Excel and PowerPoint port. Here, here is our dashboard. At the beginning, we we'll start to design its skeletons. We have take a new uh, sheet. We can use circulated rectangle. Okay, this stops, and we can use, yes. Let's decrease its height a little bit. 6.5 okay. the five here select the color will be back color back shape outline no outline give it shadow Shadow, we we'll use this type of shadow, increase the distance more, more 5, Control D, we take another section here, Okay, control E and we make alignment. Yes. This is the first thing. Second, take Control D. Can put one here for the date. Be aligned. We'll use background. Select. Format background, gradient fill as we hear, take linear, uh, other stop, 
this is read then pink can use color pink and here is orange A dashboard. Second, we'll insert H section or H data, which we referred. We can put uh, another columns or first sections. Shape outline. The outline. <coughs> uh, use its color. Solid fill. It is color. D, control D, change color. This is the head of each items will be used. Align here. Control G and Control D duplication to make it. Okay, now it's our dashboard uh, ready to accept all data. First, we'll group this. Control G for grouping. Also here. Control G. And here for grouping. Control G. Okay, coming to the insertion of the uh, items, uh, insert text items. For our dashboard, uh, insert uh, text here and say date. We use font Oswald, Oswald font, and bold and white color. The same here. Like this.
we'll repeat this step for all order just to speed up the video till we finish Here <coughs> we we did uh, all uh, heading. Just forget this total. Total. We'll insert the icons. Icons I already listed here. We we'll take all these icons. Icons can select it from insertion here from power bond icons, or we can uh, insert it from any. Uh, any previous on uh, internet or like something like this just to give this color uh, graphics graphics color uh, can make it shadow okay we put it total hours here date here Unsafe X conditions. We have positive. We have negative. Also observation, safety observations. Uh, training. Try to make your icon uh, indicated your uh, severity. Control Z and injury plus time injuries. A total man hours. And total man hours. Sorry. Sync and control D take here main heading HSE for safety uh, monthly dash four. This is your title, and you can increase it, cover this portion. Shadow, shadow, okay. okay. 
Let's insert the data here. As you see here, this is the skeleton or the uh, main skeleton of our dashboard. Just only we insert the data, which we already linked with Excel and will be updated. Uh, first, we have to go to the date and go to Excel Sheets. What is the steps? Here, this is our chart. Just only we'll take it as a copy, Control C, and we paste it in each uh, place. Here, the date as Control V. Here, our date. Just change the color, change the size. Make it bold, Oswald, and nine. Okay. And our line to the line. Can increase it more to be 16 or 18. We can change color to be the orange, mainly to be orange. This far side. Once our date or daily update coming. Uh, this date will be changed automatically to the Excel sheet. You need just only making refresh chart design, refresh your data. Your data will be changed as we will see later. Total manpower, we select the, also the charge of the first. We'll take in this manpower. Control C, Control V, put it here, color. Old Oswald increase the size to be 16 or 18 up to you. If visible and this total man power will be updated. As we see here in Excel sheet, this number 730. For example, company E B150. Now man power 780. You go to our board. On power 708, change it automatically. Okay, uh, second step will take uh, man hours uh, chart. We'll go here, control E. Here, okay, modify its colors, modify the size. So, make white colors as well. Also, y axis. And company can remove this. Can up to you. you. Can remove it. You can leave it. This up to you. I prefer to leave it to be indicated. Here we come here to uh, color or uh, change the shape of the columns. Uh, previous in the video before we making this, I learned you as a video for simple column uh, designs. We we'll take the same here. To have a good and previous goal, we take copy of this, control C, and then when I come back to, for example, this columns, just uh, I making filling, fill to pattern, okay, picture style, and clip up. Here, as you see, this one, and so second one, go here, control C. Filling, picture on the fill, third one, control C, fill, picture or text fill, clipboard fill. Just I come to this chart, make setting. This area, primary axis, series overlap, I can decrease the overlap, okay, gap width wants to be decreased, we have more, axis. okay, This for forest chart, you have nice and fancy chart. Uh, we can go to the next uh, items or next uh, 
bars, total man bars, also the same. And first I take the man bars and so on. So that I make it quick video um, to avoid time. So finally now we go to the last two things. Uh, first we take it uh, LTI F okay. This chart we have to resize this chart, change its color, white, the whites, and we add add a add uh, format data series sorry add data labels here it was missed so next time first time okay and we can modify its color make it uh, gradient line uh, up to you change the line color here are few minutes towards the end you can take it uh, first one second one Red, third one, orange, and here, here orange, light orange. Okay, this for 
uh, loss time injuries and the last chart our severity will be inserted here also now absolutely uh, all most of the uh, all charts on our dashboard already uh, this is you can as I mentioned in the beginning you can make it uh, any dashboard as you like you can increase these times of slides uh, for dashboard uh, to be fit with your uh, required data okay. change color here can make it one color uh, pink color and we take the agent here this is this so on so this is the last thing in our our dashboard as you see here this is our dashboard now we'll see how to update this dashboard sorry here feel the line you have line here no fill no lines let's show you how this uh, dashboard can be updated or change it uh, for last thing this last things excel sheet we can make a comparison powerpoint and excel as we see here on the left side close this left side in our backend data in Excel sheet also on right side and left side in our dashboard if we change it any data here for example company E to be for example 300 then total will be changed and here the data will be changed company C for example 500 so data be sent to 100 2000 here data will be uh, changed to time can we our data will be changed as data in Excel sheet uh, modified or updated. This manual, or you can say manual uh, uh, update or manual change it. Positive 300. You see here, chart, chart already changed to 300 and also will change it. Uh, first important thing when you close the Excel sheet, then you reopen again the uh, dashboard will need not be updated automatically this is the third section which will be explained later in another video uh, will make it up but at this time you have to go to your data and the chart design and making refresh for each design the data will be uh, changed directly uh, i hope we uh, introduce this was our uh, our uh, lessons today our hearing today about a uh, monthly dashboard it was about hac for uh, technical uh, people who are concerned about safety you can also make any dashboard like this for your business for your uh, training for your schools whatever anyway this dashboard will be uh, inserted in our websites uh, softgram the link uh, download link will be found uh, below it's free and for any comments or any uh, observations uh, related to this uh, 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 dashboard or any clarification please don't hesitate to write a comment plus things uh, as you know your likes or your comments is very important to us to support us sometimes to improve our uh, free learning for each one to ensure every thing or data reach to everyone who want to learn something like this please don't forget to make like or subscribe to our channel to follow up and have more thank you for your watching and thank you for listening and see you later in the next video bye